Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to plot a line graph with standard deviation in Excel, I've got you covered. Let's jump in and check it out. The first thing you're going to do is make sure that you've got your data over here. All right, so um, I've got my data and this is sample data, but I've got an average and I've got a standard deviation. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and I want to take these averages and I'm going to click on insert on my ribbon and I'm going to come over here to the charts. I'm going to look for the insert line or area chart and you can insert a line chart. Now, I'm going to use the ones with the markers, which is this one over here. All right, once we have inserted this, you'll see if you select it, you will see a plus sign on the right hand side. We're going to open this up and we're going to go down to error bars. OK, so if you go and select it, it'll give you the standard error bars. But what we want is on the right hand side, there's a little arrow and here you can see there's standard deviation. All right, but we want to customize it one step further. Let's go to more options and all of these options we're going to keep as is. So we're going to keep the direction, the end style, and the error amount. That's going to stay as is. But where we're coming down to error amount, we're going to come down to custom, and we're going to specify value. Now, in the positive error value, we're going to go ahead, and we are going to just add this standard deviation value for the positive as well as the negative. So click on this icon here, and you're going to go and click down, and you're going to drag over these values. Let's go ahead and click that icon and the same for the negative error value. We're going to go ahead, click down and there we go. We're going to go ahead. Let's click on OK. And you'll see now that you have created those error bars. And this is now how you can create customized standard deviation values.